Hello. Uh, this is again Annabeth Mitzler from Gardening and Farming in Philippines. This is just the banana heart. Yeah. And I clean this one so I'm going to make this one food. This is it. That's the one. It's so nice white. I've got four pieces here. So what should I do here to see is to remove here and clean the red one. Remove the some of the the hard stuff that you can't you could, because you cannot cook that one the red stuff and then some of I, I I gathered here in the bag so I can I can feed this one to the pig the pig will eat this one and my knife is not really sharp it needs to be sharp there you go so you clean this one till it becomes white there you clean it because this is if you don't uh, remove the the red color it's tough not uh, not good to eat and then you need to remove to the out uh, I cut more my god that's okay and I'll just remove the red one here. so the white one is getting I almost there so this is it then you just boil this one boil it then after the soft uh, sprinkle a uh, salt then squeeze it till the juice will come then after that one uh, you can cook you can add uh, spices any any meat and or a ground pork or a meat then this is this is really good uh, food a lot of nutrients uh, yeah I'm going to cook this one this evening our food tonight then I guess this is good for today again this is Annabeth Messler from Gardening and Farming in Philippines. And thank you guys for watching my video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Oh, this is now the banana. The banana that I, I cleaned a while ago. I removed the red red bark. I boiled it. Very soft now. Then you need to remove the middle. This is tough to eat. You need to remove that. Then, then after that one, you chop it. So that's the banana now. I already chopped then next is sprinkle a salt and squeeze it that's the salt then all you have to do is to squeeze this one until the juice will come then after that wash it
so that's it I already squeezed and then there's the here's the juice and then after that one you're going to wash so it's not salty if you cook it so that's the one I already wash so this one is ready to cook now so this is it then add some oil okay and then you add garlic then onion the this is the way I cook with garlic I just cut the bottom part then the green one I just I just add this one later on Okay, they already turned to brown, and and now you're gonna add the banana heart. Okay, there you go. Hmm, it smells good. There, that's a lot. Okay, then mix this one, mix it properly, mmm, smells good, then add soy, Get soy here, soy sauce. Okay, and sprinkle a little bit black bell pepper. There you go. So you're gonna wait till it and then I need you adjust the, the fire. You're gonna wait a little bit to produce uh, a juice here. So this is the time you're gonna I've got here I just uh, add mushroom Then after mushroom, I'm going to add sardines. And so now you you add a mushroom. Yep. Then mix it. Mix slowly. Yeah. And then add the the green onion. There you go. You didn't really need to cook long the banana heart because this is already boiled. You already cooked this one. Okay. It smells so good. And 
I'm going to add sardines. That's the sardines. All you have to do is to uh, break this one a little bit. So it will mix. So, that's it. This is my recipe for today. And give me taste. Wow, fantastic. Hmm. So good. Okay. I guess this is good for today again. Yeah, this is Annabeth Mesler from Gardening and Farming and Gardening and Farming in Philippines. Thank you guys for watching my video. And have a nice day. God bless. Bye bye.